the Sky Temple. Um, I've never played as Modern on Sky Temple, but we'll see about it, how it goes. Like I said to the team, I'm going for the middle lane, and I'm going for Bribe as my first talent. <clears throat> so just up my game and really don't shall not overextend myself. But I'm expecting a lot of BS talk, but I hope that I can prove them wrong about this. And Sky Temple, I think it's one of my favorite maps right now. But also, let's get to it. I would prepare for your ceaseless battle. Come, let us waste to this realm. So private is. And do I recall where the easy camp is? It's that top right here. The temple opens in ten seconds. So they have Tassadars, their support. No, they have Uther to a support. Two is a pretty good setup they got. Do whatever it is you do. So right now I just need to kill as many minions as I possibly can. And let's try and time... Yeah, Malfurion is AFK, this is not... This is not too good. Let's tap on the enemy heroes here. Just send as many minions down as I can, get as many kills as I can. Just keeping them occupied. Um, still, of course, need to conserve a bit of mana. Ain't too afraid of it. Let's just grab the shrine already. Well, right now I'm gaining kills. So I really need to rely on my uh, my e ability here. Also burn. So let's get to it. Stitch is almost dead and I'm getting pushed away here. Should be alright. So we're going for the uh, uh, damage shields as well, increase damage to non hero, increase max warriors. Let's do this one. We can just spam as many warriors as we can. So right now I'm going home and we got this temple nice and safe. They got the top temple, that was fine. Enticing. My temple's power. Let's get back to the lane as fast as we can. I don't have any bribes yet, so I really need to uh, stack up on uh, on my kills here. Still need to be careful though. Still need to be very careful. I got no vision right now. Let's just see if they're going for a boss camp here. No, they're not. Oh, I'm out up. Let's go up and help. Ah, they're fine. They're fine. Might be a bit wasted here, but hopefully 
I can get it down. Don't uh, underestimate taking off a fortress, even though the temples are dealing a lot of damage to the fortresses. When you're picking off fortresses, it just means that the Sky Temple itself can fire upon. Can fire upon um, other temples and other uh, fortifications, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, let's go for Mercenary Lord here. Send them in. Just need the last couple of kills to let's just tap on stitches here. I just need the last couple of kills. <laughs> so we got the bottom temple, so let's go and aid. Still need to stay in a big in the background because I'm an easy target. I, I really can't get away, so I really need to be careful here. Oh. And they take down Felstad, that's pretty good. Let's just aid up there. Just make sure Vala gets safe in. They seem to be in control here. Let's burn. Rain. I mean, uh, that was Tigus I wanted to burn. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. But anyways, a fair start, I think. Even though they got the the four blasts. I think we got the best of this one, so that was uh, that was fine. Uh, Tigus in that last fight, he almost overextended himself and underestimated the power of Ulshul Baron. People often forget that. People often forget that the power of Ulshul Baron increases. So they should be really careful. Let's just take a look. Let's go down here and help Malfurion because Uther is so overextended right now. Oh, I gotta be careful. Let's get on Felstad here. Let's just push her since we're a lot of us here. We should actually go for the boss camp, yeah, I so agree. I so agree. Oh, get out of that. I really want to conserve my mana. Let's just use this ball to scout. Yeah, Stitches was there. And let's start burn on Felstad here. There we go. Let's get out of here. Things might get intense. And I'm getting pushed by that god... God damn tornado. Let's just creep out of here like the spider I am. And I'm going to the top temple. Should be the safest. So hopefully I won't get interrupted that much, but I'm really expecting that someone will come. Well, let's just scout a bit ahead here. Oh, come on, and all shall burn on this one. Ah, get out of this. And we got Felstad incoming. Um, they might seem to ignore us a bit. That's pretty good, actually. Let's do March of Sin. Uh, March of Sin is really, really great when we want to uh, 
engage in uh, the hero fights. I can maneuver around, still keep up my old shield burn. It just requires that I have a decent amount of mana in my pool. Yep, I so agree. And I got two mercenaries up. I haven't really been using my mercenary trade that much. Ah, it's okay. I'm I'm not I'm not that afraid about this. So right now, let's see. The middle lane needs some attention. They just destroyed a tower. That's so bad. The magic of the temple sleeps. Until I well, let's just pump everything out just to spread some panic in them. There we go. And my team is back, so that's pretty good. Let's gain the kills again. And I'm kind of out of mana, so I really need to be careful right now. Just so you know it, I'm out of mana. I actually wasted a coin right there. That was not so good. Come on, chase him, chase him, chase him. All shall burn, all shall burn. Ah, god damn it. Timely intervention right there. Ah, uh, don't stand there. We should really get out of here. Flee the scenes! Flee the scenes! There's a temple anytime soon. The only problem right now is that I haven't really put my mercenary lord to use. That's uh, that's kind of ah, oh, Vala really. And you really need to sidestep now. Oh, we got temples. You really gotta be careful. Ah! Spread some panic into Tigers. Choose a talent. I'm going for the blood for blood. That's gonna help me in team fights. And he ate me. What the hell? Let's just go down and use blood for blood here. All ass, all ass, all ass. Ah, there's no shrine, no! And he just pulled off a minion of mine. Let's get out of here, go up here, come on, can I make it? No. Well, at least we have the butt shrine, that's pretty good. We got some shots off from the middle shrine. But uh, they managed to overwhelm us, so we lost it. My statistics are fine, I think. And four power shots. And we need to defend the bottom lane here. My temple's magic. 13 seconds on the hot camp. And the minion's taking care of that one. I'm going to the middle lane. Be careful, that's such a bold move they're doing right there. It's obvious that the enemy team is there. There we go. Let's go help down here.
Come on, all out, all out. All out. There we go, and take the bus here. No, 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 no. Still gotta be careful. There we go. Good escape, good escape. Why would he go out there? Should at least go for the hot cam up here. Good school. All out here. Help me pick it off so we can go to the top lane, yeah. Good one. Gotta be careful though, my health is pretty low. So I'm just gonna stay here in the background and just see what approach the enemy team might have. And we got a hard camp pushing here. That's uh, that's that's pretty good. I think they were going for the boss camp. There they come. And he ate me. Why would he eat me? Of all the possible targets that he could do. Well, let's just bounce around here. Time a bomb. There we go. Good one. And let's go for stitches. Ah, uh, he missed it. No, I should have waited with that bomb. You have stolen enough of my temple's power. Return to your war heroes. That thrilling guy is right. You should uh, attack the carries. Though I would call it assassin since we're playing Heroes of the Storm and not really carries. Mm-hmm. We should really go with the hot camp, though. It might be a bit dangerous. Let's just pump it up with some... minions here to tank for us. I'm really gonna conserve my mana, so I'm not going to use all shell burn. You can see the minions die rather quickly to my uh, uh, to the boss's uh, attack, but anyway, it's uh, it's one or two attacks diverted directly to uh, to the minions and Seratul, who would be the obvious target, I think, for uh, uh, be the obvious target for the boss. Um, It's actually you spared some, some attacks on that one, so just spam those minions. Am I actually using the basic skin now that I think about it? I think I am, yeah. Okay, let's just go all out here. I need to finish this bass port home and go get the shrines. Come on. <coughs> so I think we got this nice and easy. Um Yeah, let's I'm gonna go help here. Uh, come on, burn him, burn him, burn him. Well close enough. And he ate me again. We got it. So even though they 
even though I chose Asmodan as my first pick, it actually turned out great, so... All props to Asmodan. People don't expect a pick uh, like Asmodan on, uh, on the Hero League here, I think. So nice and easy. Let's go for another. So as you still can see, my statist statistics are pretty... Uh, Pretty even right now. But you might notice that I have a lot of wins with Sigar and Rainer, and I actually think they are my best hero on on the ranked. And I don't know what here I would really like to go with Sagara this time, but let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Still searching. Searching. There we go. <coughs> And I'm first pick, so let's go for Sagara and Sky Temple. I think Sagara would be a fine choice here. The light abandons no man. Yeah, the meta game for rank right now, and the obvious heroes you see every time: Uther, Vala, Status, uh, Tigus. Yeah, and is the Sagara a bad pick? I'm gonna show him differently. I just tend to ignore these people. As we saw in the other game, people were like, Oh man, you picked Asmodan as first pick? And I didn't want to answer them because I, I, I had no idea what to say, but I, I strongly proved them otherwise that Aspadan was a great addition to the team, actually. I think one of Aspadan's strongest sides is that he causes panic when he spawns all these minions. Yeah. Oh, he chose Raynor. I think Raynor is, um, is part of the meta, too, but I think... The most seen heroes right now is they just Tigus uh, and Bella. They're almost in every game. Every single game. <laughs> and Murden is getting quite popular too as a tank. I think he uh, passed Arthas in regards to popularity. And this guy's called Juicy, even though Murden is pretty tough. Wouldn't call him Juicy. And a little hint to the Lost Vikings down left corner. And Blizzard actually announced a quest to win uh, access to the beta. And there was a silhouette of the Lost Vikings, and if you could guess it, you were in a competition to win a key. So I'm expecting to see the Lost Vikings on Wednesday. And after that, I think we will have one or two weeks, and then Sylvanas will be introduced to the game. The problem with the heroes right now is that the World of Warcraft franchise is so popular, there are so many names they could just in pick up and just put into the game. But one thing is that as soon as Overwatch hits uh, the beta, we will start to see even more... Uh, We'll see even more uh, Overwatch uh, heroes in uh, Heroes of the Storm. He wants a solo bot. That, that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard.
Bridewing's idea is pretty good as Bridewing's mobility is just madness since uh, Bridewing can teleport all over the map. Problem is that if Bridewing teleports to the top lane, the the bottom lane would be so neglected. There we go, and always use your creep timorous to scout everything. And there we go. I really like the creep on this map. I think it has another tin compared to... ...to some of the other maps. Uh, I really got to pay attention to that and see if there really is a difference. So today I'm going to build Sargera the way I like the most. And perfect hit on the uh, Bella there. Great way is to just spawn your minions and uh, on the enemy heroes and just have them chase a. Uh, the enemy hero. Uh, sadly, this tiger said uh, died, but. But he was pretty fair to say that it was his bad and. Not blaming everybody else. Agreed. So Stitches is doing fine with Bridewing. Bella staying at the bottom lane, which is uh, actually pretty good. Gotta be careful not to overextend here. Just shoot on this tank guy, it doesn't really matter. And let's just, uh, I'm almost going for the Venom Spines. I think that's the best. I will port home and I will go to the bottom lane. That was pretty good. <laughs> so it seems like Rainer is taking over in the bottom lane from Bella. And Vela is coming too, though. Uh, Tigus is, seems to be in some dire situation. He's pretty overextended. So let's just push up again and spread, spread the creep so I can easily go back into hiding if needed. And I really want to put a tumor right there. Bainlink's also great for scouting just a bit ahead. I think I need to replace a tumor up here. It's so important that you use your tumors to scout with. Always hide one behind the gate, I think that is a must. So we're going for... We're going for the creep spread. One of my favorites, actually. Because it helps me so much when... It helps me so much when I want to get away and still regenerates a lot of health when I'm on my creep. And still a motivation to spread my creep even further. Let's just annoy them a bit here. So it's our stitches coming. Just attack as much as we can here and still stay at the back. Ah, oh, that was a pretty good uh, pull by stitches right there. Let's go in and contest this one. And I prefer if it's if stitches was tanking and he is.
So I'm just saying that I got it, so they should really just be going out and fighting. See, my regeneration is actually pretty mad. I'm, I'm status quo right now, if you look at my health. So sweet, so sweet. And we're not far from... We're not far from level 10 right now, so I'm going for my uh, Devouring Mole. And my mana situation is kind of good, I think. Let's just conserve some mana. I really don't need to spend any mana right now. So, Devouring Mole, my all-time favorite. Really good crowd controller. Get the tumors into the bushes and not outside the bushes, since you want to scout inside the bushes for a possible gank or... Ah, uh, Throg got it under control right there. Let's just check up on the tumors. I think it's fine. Let's just place one in these bushes right here. Are they fighting for the bus? No, they're not. Let's just destroy the fences here. For a quicker getaway. Add some tanking to assist our siege giants. And they might seem to be pushing on the top lane. We got Uther incoming. You still really gotta respect Uther. And he still needs to respect me as well, because... My damage is pretty intense, and his damage is not existing. Let's just stress him out a bit. Yeah, there we go. I want him to overextend a bit more. There we go. And we got a Ford. Take the shrine. I might need a hand. There we go, let's activate it. Play some more creep tumors. Get out of this one. And increase under killer range and damage. There we go. Chase him away. Nothing you can do against Sargera. There we go. Let's get out of here. And never hesitate to use your devouring more on one enemy hero. That's a pretty good call if... Uh, that's a pretty good call if... Uh, if you're able to actually chase a hero away. You saw that Reyna was fleeing. If I didn't use it, I might end up losing my... Uh, my advantage on uh, the temple and uh, I might end up dying too and have to wait and I hate, I hate to wait so I love not to wait so I love to be in game Whoop. still got 30 seconds on my ulti We got three of them down here. So let's go on Tazada here. There he is. Get out of that, don't stand in that. And I should be able to regenerate my health rather quickly here. There we go. So yeah, we should really take this boss camp right now. I'm just gonna go for the easy cam. No need for me to assist on on a boss camp. Always place a creep tumor when you're fighting uh, mercenary camps. It uh, will regenerate health as uh, when you stand on it. As you can see, my health is regenerating right now. So 
so there we go another creep tumor so we got a boss and an easy cam going and let's go help up here hold two charges for 100 killers that's uh, that's so good no need to work any further at the bottom lane for me so I'm just going to roam alongside my teammates and I still need to remember to place my creep tumors as they are great for, uh, for scouting So let's just place our hunter curler on each of these. Get out of this. Oh, why? It's not dead. And let's just get it down. Look at my health regeneration. It's really helping me here. So I just told Tigus just to go fight. There's no need for us to stay here. And Tigus' damage is better as he is an assassin so he should really just go fight off um, the enemy team and I think we might be able to finish now let's just place a creep tumor still gotta be careful let's mount up seems like the group is going around for that fortress right there oh he just ate one and I really want to capture some of them the timing just needs to be right kill this wall for some more vision still got my ultimate ready Just gonna stay a bit in the background since I'm an easy target, so there wouldn't be any point of me in just marching forward, really. And no, we can we can finish now. I think. Let's. Nah, I'm not gonna capture anyone just now. No need to. I'm gonna play it safe and just go to the bottom shrine. It seems a hero has taken my advice. So my statistics is five zero and well my XP contribution is a bit lower. And it's slower since I'm not going for the team fights, which means that I'm more entitled to use uh, to not gain that XP from killing uh, off the heroes. I just placed a creep tumor up here since I wanted the scouting, and let's place another, and let's put a hunter killer on each of these. There we go. Well played. So this wraps up game number two. So it's specialist day, and I just had a decent game, not the best game with Asmodan, but again, I proved them wrong playing Sagara as a specialist. So I hope you you got what you wanted out of this, and be inspired to play specialist heroes. So I'm just climbing the ranks right now. But anyways, leave a comment on the cast and thanks for watching.